Today, I'm gonna to take you on a food journey. We're gonna feature three black owned restaurants with different types of food options, and we're gonna feature wings. When you think about wings, it's a great pairing with football, other kinds of sporting events, and just family gatherings. My name is Apollo Woods. I'm the founder and president of OKC Black Eats. We are committed to showcasing black owned restaurants and driving direct spending to those businesses. So join us on this food journey while we show you some amazing food options featuring wings. This is the wing edition. First stop that we're making today is Chef D's Creation. I met Chef D about four years ago. When I met him then, he didn't have that many tattoos. He was starting his lock journey. Then was the young Chef D. Now his wing style is a mixture of Cajun and Creole. But what you're gonna love the most is the sauce. It's the drip that you're gonna love the most. So the man, the myth, and the legend, here is Chef D, the most popular, popping, fashionable, <laughs> trend-setting uh, chef that we have here in the city. So, glad to have you on here this episode to talk about these wings, man. Appreciate you, appreciate you. So let's, 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 let's start out and, and uh, go back to the beginning. Why, why did you decide to jump into this food space in this culinary world? Like, what inspired you to jump into this? And as growing up, I've always been loving food, always loved to cook. I mean, you know, before I had my daughter, I pretty much I used to drive semi trucks. Mm -hmm. And like, cook, cooking was always a passion for me, and I just wanted to do something different. And I worked at other restaurants where I put in that strive, that hustle, and I just, it, felt, it didn't feel comfortable, comfortable me being there. Like, I wanted to expand, I wanted right. to do my own thing. So one day I was just like, I'm about to just leave this job, and I'm about to just do my own thing. And like, three weeks later, I had my own business. And I was just striving up to the top so fast, I couldn't stay caught up. And it was just a journey. Yeah. Like, you know, it was just food. Food is a loving thing to have. It's a, it's a good thing. If you care about mm. the food, everybody will see that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I wanted to do something for the community and something within myself, my dreams and my goals mm. to get far in life where I know it's my passion. I'm right. getting far towards doing it. Yeah. So when, I, when I'm looking at like what you provide in, in your style of food, it's different than what we see. Okay. I'm excited about that because it's not just your typical, yeah, it's Cajun Creole and the sauce yeah. and wings and it's Cajun flavor. Folks think it's hot, it's mild, and all these different questions. It's very unique, um, especially for Oklahoma City. How did you get to the place to decide that Chef D is gonna create this different style of food here? Pretty much just seeing other things. Like when I seen other people dishes or food and business, like just making other stuff, I wanted to be different. I wanted mm -hmm. to set different combinations of food, not just be like everybody else. Right. Like from loaded fries, from wing combos, people like different fulfill of food. I've seen people that probably just don't want wings and fries. Sure. They might want other stuff with it. When I sat there and thought of the name, Chef D's Creations, I want to be creative. Because mm -hmm. if I'm not creative, I'm not different. So mm -hmm. that's why when I built my menu and my business, I wanted to do different food, not just Cajun Creole food, right. from a Greek food, a Mediterranean food, Italian food, anything from vegan food. Yeah. I wanted to show people what Chef D is capable of. He just can't do Cajun Creole. He can go all around. Right. You want to book a catering, whatever you want, vegan food, whatever, salads, anything, I can do that. That's so, it's a, so it's a well-balanced food experience that go. we'll get here. So let's say I'm, I'm new. Like, okay. you don't know me. I just walked through the door the gotcha. first time. I landed in Oklahoma City or I drove mm -hmm. in. Hey, I saw you um, on social media. I've never tried your food. I have no idea who you are. Okay. What do you recommend that I choose from wings here at Chef D's Creation? The number one is gonna be called Sauced Up Everything. Okay. Just because it's like a homemade ranch remoulade sauce with a sweet chili sauce. Three okay. different combinations of sauces absorbed in one flavor of crispy, spicy wings. So when you have all those combinations of food, it gives it that flavor. It's not your typical hot buffalo or lemon pepper or, or you know the basics, the garlic parm. It's, very different. And then with that, we have a combination with loaded fries mm. called sauced up loaded fries. Okay. So that gives it two things in one, like a whole combo that's like, right. oh my God, these spices is amazing. They absorb with right. so many different combinations. So mm. that's the feel I wanted to do with my type of food, okay. the type of wings that I have. Okay. Now y'all heard all these great flavors. Um, you talked about the sauce. You talked about the drip. You see the drip. So now it's time for us to try some of these wings. Y'all know I'm a facially expressive person when I eat. 
So if my face tells you that it's good, that's all I gotta say. But let's try some of this food and show you that Chef D's creation is one of the most unique and best flavorful wing options that we have here. It's one of three. Everything we'll show you today in black owned restaurants are fantastic wings. But let's see what Chef D is doing with his dripping the sauce back in the kitchen. This is the spread. He brought out some extra flavor. We're gonna start with these wings on this side. So here are his lemon pepper wings. These are some thick <laughs> wings. Breaded up nicely, lemon pepper. I'm excited about it with some of his own sauce. I'll be dipping it later. And I love the fact that he gave actually lemons. Um, I love lemons as a side on my, uh, for my wings and my, and my food. And here is what he calls sauce cup. Wings with the ranch aioli sauce and some other sweet flavors and the fries. All the drip I will tell you about. So we're gonna dive into this here in a moment. But if you can pan this way in the beautiful side of this table and you see there's a shrimp and catfish po' boy, as well as these gargantuan loaded catfish and shrimp, cheese sauced up fries as well. Now y'all probably ask yourself, how is he gonna eat all this? I'm not. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you how amazing it is, because I'm hungry already. First thing you do, you take your lemon. You can't be in Chef D's and you not have more sauce. You gotta, you gotta keep things sauced up. He loves the sauce and so do I. I'm making a mess. And what I love about it, all the flavors are distinct. It's crunchy, cooked all the way through. The sauce is good. And it gives you enough sauce. Like some people don't give you enough sauce. Clearly, you get a lot of sauce. Dish number two. Now with these sauce stuff wings. You can use your hands if you want to, but I'm gonna be civilized for TV. Gotta have a fork. All sauced up, I'm gonna try these fries. Some people you're traditional, and you just want regular ketchup fries, you can get those too. But here's Chef D's, you gotta try Chef D's way, sauced up. If you hear any noise in the background, because there's so many people coming in here with DoorDash orders, pickup orders, to-go orders, people love the sauce. I love the sauce, the sauce is really good. Look at that, there's no shortage of sauce on these wings. Watch my mouth get messy. What I love about what he does is, all the, there's consistency in the, in the wings. There's, the texture is very consistent. I love the crunch of the bite. And I love the fact that his wings are full wings. It's like when our grandma would cook, she's gonna give you real chicken. <laughs> this is definitely real chicken. If your bone ain't clean, we ain't doing it right. I know this is the wing edition, but when a chef brings you out more food, you can't say no. You gotta try it. You gotta eat it. So this is a po' boy. I lived in Houston for a period of time. Graduate of the University of Houston and Texas Southern University. So living down in the, ooh, ooh, living, living down in the, in the Gulf Coast area, Oh boys where I think, y'all see this mess? Look at this. Look, you, I need enough, I need some more hands. I am going to embarrass myself. So if you're gonna laugh at me, you need to come to Chef D's and eat. Anybody got any suggestions on how I eat this thing? Just go for it. Do it, just. Thing. That's a lot, but really good. The bread is soft, pickles are country, great balance, it's a lot. You can probably share this with two people. Y'all look, look at this. Last thing I'm gonna, my stomach is able to handle, this is a lot of food and I gotta share it with the, with the film crew. These loaded fries have catfish, which I love, uh, I love catfish. We got shrimp, there's no shortage a flavor for all of these. Look at that. I wasn't even trying to get any shrimp. Listen, I can't eat this all day because I'll be asleep all day tomorrow. But I need y'all to come out and support Chef D's Creations. 
in Oklahoma City. As you can see, it gives you all of the experience um, from Cajun Creole, the sauce, the menu changes. He even has crab legs on the menu, but today we're talking about wings. And these wings, these are your grandma wings. Come eat some wings, enjoy some food, and Chef D's Creation here in Oklahoma City, come out and support them and bring a big appetite and bring a friend and bring another friend and bring your mama in. But just come out and support Chef, Chef D's Creation right here in Oklahoma City. We're at our second stop of the day at Wing Supreme. Now, when you come to Wing Supreme, you gotta expect to get a bunch of bold flavors. Now, where is it located? We affectionately call Northeast Oklahoma City the East Side, off of Northeast 39th and North Lincoln. So come check out these bold flavors and these great wings at this black owned restaurant. Come on inside. Now we're back in the kitchen where all the magic happens for Wing Supreme. This is the owner, Eric. Now, he likes to hide behind and to be in the back of the scenes and do all the hard work, but I may not come up front. So I want people to know how great the wings are here at Wing Supreme, but tell us how you got started. Like why Wing Supreme? How long you been around? Like why did you choose wings as a restaurant to get to be a part of? Well, when I was in uh, undergrad in college at Howard University in DC, okay. and me and my partner at the time, okay. we wanted to bring something back to our campus. Okay. We were over at Georgetown University, so we wanted to bring it back okay. to Howard. And what now, what, did, what year, what time frame was this? That was in 1989. Wow, so it's been 30, oh, yeah, 4 years? A long time. So you've been yeah. in this wing business. wing business for like 34 years? Yeah. I was buying wings when they were 27 cents a pound. Well, they're not 27 cents a pound now. No, nah, not at all. <laughs> so, now it was an uh, opportunity okay. that I thought our community Okay. And it gave me an opportunity to hire a lot of people in that Howard University community. Okay. So it was it, it was uh, a great time. So then how did you make that transition from uh, from the DMV, Howard University, DC area to Oklahoma City? How did that transition happen? Well, you know, I'm from Oklahoma City. Okay. You know? And just coming back home, actually, I came back before and I okay. opened up in Norman. Okay on campus corner right. and I left, went back to DC mm -hmm. and then I really didn't never want to come back to Oklahoma at first. A lot of people have that story, but yeah, when you yeah. come back, you make some magic happen. So let's get down into the wings. You have an interesting variety of wings. Now, when I first moved back to Oklahoma in 2016, all I kept hearing is you got wings supreme and boom, boom, shrimp. But I'm like, why do they talk about shrimp so much? when it's a wing spot. So how did you figure out what makes your wings unique from everybody else? Well, I think time, yeah. you know, since 89 trial and error, just, you know, making mistakes, yep. you know? So I think over time I perfected it okay. to a science that's, you know, we just try to be consistent okay. and, and give out a variety of wings, mm -hmm. not just seven or eight, but we want to give you a variety. Yeah, you, you get a little bit of extra in there every oh, once in a while. Yeah, yeah. my kind. So a little love. Yeah, you come every day. Yeah. Two weeks and three days, and still get to try another wing. I love it. I love it. I love it. So then, um, if I'm a first timer, I'm coming there for the first time. I don't, I've never been to Wings from before. I don't even know who you are. I'm a stranger. Right. What do you suggest that a first time wing lover should try when it comes to Wing Spring? I think probably try. The honey love, that's our signature okay. wing. That is, you know, nobody in the world okay. has that. You want to go back to grandma's cooking, you want to okay. go to the Southern Pride. Okay. You want to try something a little bold and tangy, you got to go Buffalo Lemon Cup. We got Parmesan okay. garlic, I can okay. go on and on, but yeah, we got every flavor that you want to try. Before we get into this food, what really makes Wing Supreme special here on the east side? Well, I think what makes it special is what our growth in this community and what we were able to bring and the diversity that we have as far as we got customers that come from all over. Yeah. You know, we, we believe in customer service. That's a lost art. Right. And if, if we can, you know, keep continue to focus on customer service and quality of food, yeah. I think the consistency will be here forever. I want the kids to come and want to come to Wing Supreme, bring their kids. Yeah. So, you know, 
through different generations. I love it. I love yeah, to hear. So. so we're going to get and try some of these wings. And voila, here's the spread that we have. Now, I told you there's going to be a lot of great food. So let me give you the rundown of what you're going to get at Wing Supreme. Now, these are recommendations that came from Eric. So if he's giving the recommendations, I believe him. Now, this is Boom Boom Shrimp. See, it's glossy. Looks all beautiful. Smells good. I'm come back to them because I'm hungry. So I'm trying to get through this without salivating all over the food. And here are the Southern Fried Wings. Traditional, fried hard, crispy. We're going to dip them in something before we leave out here. Now, if you've heard of Honey Love, here are the wings. Honey Love Wings. And if it, if it brings back reminiscent of a song of the in the 90s, an R&B song, that's exactly what it is. Give me that Honey Love. And then we're coming out and wrap around with the, uh, with, the, with the lemon pepper wings that everyone talks about. Hey, they didn't hold back on the lemon. You can smell the flavor, you can see the spices. And then of course you always gotta have some good crispy fries. Now you're probably looking at me like, hey, is it any good? Let me tell you, it's good. Now I don't lie about my facial expressions. So I need you to look at me really closely as I eat this shrimp. Look, <clears throat> it's a whim. Boom Boom has Boom Boom flavor. Got a kick to it, not too hot. This is good, man. You know, you eat something and you don't want to stop eating, but you gotta go to the next one. I've done this food thing enough, I gotta move around to the next food. It's the bone graveyard over here. Back to honey love. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now this really sucks for people filming me right now. Cause they gotta watch me eat before they can taste this good food. But I'ma share, I'm gonna be nice. So the lemon pepper. Mm. You love lemon pepper. You're gonna love those lemon pepper wings. Fries the season. That's why we chose the spot. They don't hold back on the flavor. And as they say, you get a lot of bold flavor in all of these wings. This is a lot of food. Wing Supreme is a staple in Oklahoma City when you're talking about wings. Since we've been here, the traffic's been flowing, the smiles have been all over people's faces. You are guaranteed to enjoy the food. And I love what they've done here at Wing Supreme. So I need you to come to Oklahoma City and try Wing Supreme. Make Wing Supreme a guaranteed stop you make when you come to Oklahoma City to try some wings. Look at this. <laughs> All right, Foodie World, we're at our third stop in our feature, we're here at Carrot Cane Flavors on the east side in Oklahoma City at 27th and MLK. Today, we're featuring the mouth-watering Hawaiian wings. Now, they do also have jerk wings, but today is about the Hawaiian wings. The core of the wings is this authentic Caribbean flavor and it's topped off with Hawaiian flavors and fresh pineapples. They also serve vegetarian food as well. So there's a lot of options, but today, we're going to dive into these Hawaiian wings. So. Follow us as we go behind the scenes to show you how Miss Sharon puts these Hawaiian wings together. I'm gonna say it, you don't have to say it. Okay. It is the, uh, the only authentic Caribbean restaurant in Oklahoma City. They are intentional about how they prepare their food. They wanna provide healthy foods to our neighbors and our friends in the community and, and specifically on the east side. And today, see this is not a typical day for her to serve wings, but she decided that today that she would <laughs> make her famous Hawaiian wings for us today. So we'll go through the process and let you, sh let you show the world your magic. And then we'll try the Hawaiian wings later on today. So as a Caribbean restaurant, mm -hmm. how did you go from, a, from Caribbean to thinking that you would, were well, providing Hawaiian wings in the restaurant? Where did that come from? Well, you, you gotta understand something. Caribbean, mm -hmm. we are a mix of all kinds of cultures. Okay. <laughs> we love food, uh -huh. we love good food, 
and for me especially i like to try different things okay. and i would take my caribbean flavor mm -hmm. and add other cultures to it okay so the hawaiian wings is all caribbean here okay and um i add the pineapples and stuff <laughs> and we got okay. hawaiian okay <laughs> so the so the base of it is still caribbean flavors and spices absolutely okay the the wings is what we do we marinate the wings okay. with our home okay. spices okay we make our own green herbs and stuff, and then we give it that uh, spicy jerk And they're flavor. not small wings, these are whole these wings. These are the whole wings. These are the whole wings that we marinate. Sometimes for catering, uh, folks ask for like the party wings. Yeah. Uh, according to who they're serving, but in the restaurant, we serve only the whole wing. You get a real whole wing, the, a real the entire whole wing. experience. The entire bird wing <laughs> nice big healthy looking wings so you mentioned your spices and that's mm -hmm. the, i think that's the the authentic flavor that i get every time i come here mm -hmm. is it difficult to find spices that you prefer to use in your ingredients here how do you go about vetting or finding the spices that work for you in the restaurant it's it's very difficult to do, to use uh typical caribbean spices okay. but we've discovered um between the Hispanics and the Vietnamese, okay. they carry some of the similar things okay. that uh, we use in the Caribbean. Okay. So I can get gao. Okay. You know, we call it shadow veni in, okay. uh, in Trinidad. They call it gao. It's the same uh, okay. herb. So uh, traditionally, Caribbean folks would actually make their own seasonings. Okay. We don't typically use like a... Canned or pre-made? No. Okay. We would make, so I have a big jar of mm. my green herbs okay. that I would combine and make my seasonings. Okay. And added to that, I, I add some of like the jerk spices mm. and... You and know, this is what you make that. here. That's what okay. we make here. So that's what's very unique about the flavors here. Because when I hear you talk about... Um, you're, you don't have a lot of, there are not a lot of preservatives using natural right. ingredients and natural recipes. And I always notice when I eat here, I feel good when I eat here. And I want to come back and get more. Oh, okay. Because the ingredients that you use are not preservatives, yeah. no salt, no cans, stuff Definitely. like that. Definitely. I mean, okay. we, I mean, I can even show you some of our green herbs, but. No, no, uh, no, 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 no. I don't want you to let the world know. Because okay. I, I want, I need you to tell me, like, no. just, just me. Okay. They have to come to the restaurant <laughs> to figure yes. that out. But, um, so that's what we would do. And okay. we always marinate our meats overnight. Okay. You know. It's you get better flavor, it soaks right to the bone. Okay. So usually when folks eat the mm. meat, they, they say they could taste the flavor straight All the way to through. the bone. See, this now is, you're making me very hungry. Yeah. Like that. See, this is, you are the third stop of our food journey today. And yeah. I thought I wasn't gonna have much of an appetite, uh -huh. but I do. Okay. So my mouth is um, salivating, ready to eat. <laughs> These Caribbean-based wings that are somehow infused with Hawaiian flavor. So yes. sh show us how you make this magic happen. So what, once we have the marinade and, the, and the, the wings are ready, then what we do is we, um, we, I oven bake them. Okay. Right? So I oven bake them. And these are some of the wings that are oven baked. You know, I oven bake the wings, mm. but I don't, um, I try not to oven bake them all the way through because the trick to, to it is working with it on the, um, on the stove. Okay. So I make my sauce, my barbecue sauce, and I add all my ingredients to it. And I include like my pineapples and things like that. So if I'm so I'm I'm eating Hawaiian wings, mm -hmm. what should I eat with my Hawaiian wings here at Caracan oh Farms? Some folks love it with uh, mac and cheese. I always encourage something green, so they might pick either broccoli or green beans. So. Here's, listen, listen, if she knows that you Beans need to make better health choices, 
and she knows, just know, yes. when you come in here, Miss Sharon will make sure that you get Definitely. the right choice. I mean, even she holds your you accountable. Mom, your mom did that to you all the time. She was like, make sure you add something green on there. You know, See? balance is key. You want to enjoy food, but mm -hmm. you want to make sure that you're making good choices so you get a, you know, all that you need, you know, mm -hmm. to be, have a balanced diet, so. So I just, I just need to make sure that I have I'm not just to, gonna give you mac and cheese what? or just rice and beans with mac and cheese. No. <laughs> I mean, that's what. How did you know that's what I wanted? Oh, you need something okay. green on there. Okay. Okay. So I'll I'll, I'll let you choose uh, the best combinations to to pair with this uh, amazing smelling Hawaiian chicken. Yeah. And I'm gonna get out of your way because yeah. I'm gonna go take a seat and wait for this food to come out so I can indulge a little bit. Please. This is our last stop, because after this, I'm going to bed, okay? <laughs> okay. You saw all the behind the scenes. You found out that although they're called Hawaiian wings, the base of it is authentic Caribbean flavors and seasonings. So Ms. Sharon finally brought out my portion. Now, um, I've been here so many times that I don't share food when I come to Care Camp Flavors. It's not po it's possible, and you should share food, I'm just not sharing food. Now when I come here, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. So here we have this beautiful portion of Hawaiian wings with fresh pineapples on top. And of course, I got the mac and cheese, plantains, rice and peas. She made me get a green vegetable. But I love the green vegetables here because they're not overcooked. They, she still has a crisp to them. So y'all are gonna watch me eat this food. Um, I might be quiet for a while, that means that it's really good. And they give you these packages of silverware with salt and pepper in them. But I'm telling you, you don't need it. So you might as well just enjoy it for what it is because it's amazing food. Watch me be quiet. Macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna eat it like I normally eat it. Sometimes I use my hands, but that's okay. Although there's a pineapple flavor in the sauce, but I like the accent of the fresh pineapples on top of it especially if you really like pineapples. Now here's a star. Look, it's, it's our, the only reason why I'm not gonna shake the chicken is because I don't wanna make a mess of myself, but y'all saw me pick it up. You saw how tender it is. It's just coming apart. Isn't that beautiful that is? Look at that. I told y'all I'm facially expressive. I don't play with my food. It's like a slow motion effect because I want to enjoy it. You know that part where food is good and you don't want to look at people? That's how I feel right now. These are rice and peas. I love this family owned business. I love the food here. Now, she's watching me over there. And she wants to make sure I eat these green vegetables. I like green vegetables. So I want her to see me eat it. Some people have to put butter in their vegetables before it to taste good. Mm -mm. Not here. It's good for you, it tastes good in a family environment. I love this place. I want you to think about Kira Can flavors. Not just for Super Bowl Sunday, but for any other gathering, small gathering, sporting event, or whatever you wanna do. Or just come get some wings. I hope you've enjoyed this journey with us today as we feature three amazing black owned restaurants, different type of wings. We started off at Chef D's Creations with Cajun Creole style and all the drip. We moved on to Wing Supreme where we had Boom Boom Shrimp and powerfully flavored lemon pepper wings. And we ended our day at a Caribbean restaurant called Caracan Flavors on the east side of Oklahoma City. I hope you've enjoyed this journey. So when you visit Oklahoma City, I want you to consider first stopping at those three recommendations of some of the best wings in Oklahoma City. And like we always say at OKC Black Eats, our mission is bigger than food.
So happen again, cause I just wanna have fun. So y'all gonna cut this camera so I can mind my business. Cause um, I'm gonna eat this in peace. <laughs>